Ghost will not make you grieve. Do I? You said to me, yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. I am the children whom the Lord has given me. I am the children whom the Lord has given me. Are for signs and wonders. Are for signs and wonders that will occur in Israel. That will occur. Not that it has already occurred. Praise the Lord. That is going to happen. Praise the Lord. Whether you are a mother or not a mother. Whether you are a father or not a father. I want to uh, to prophesy for this altar that whatever you are going to give birth to shall be for the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That we are of signs and wonders that shall occur. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have you given birth to signs and wonders? I believe we are out of signs and wonders. And what the Lord is just coming to do upon our lives is something that will glorify God. I pray for you that your children will not be disgraced. That the children that are in this commission today will not be a disgrace. Today will not be a disgrace. Can I hear amen? amen? I want you to know that the devil is not after you. You are very minute before the eyes of the uh, of, of the devil. When you get to Kadogo Sana, in any case, I can say, Malisa, Malisa too. But what the devil is looking for is the seed that you carry. Praise the Lord. Amen. Genesis 3 15. The Bible says what? Genesis 3 15. And I will put enmity. And I will put enmity. Open hostility. Open hostility between you and the woman. Between you and the woman. And between your seed. And between your seed. Your offspring. Your offspring. And her seed. And her seed. He shall fatally bruise your head. He will bruise the head of the enemy. And he shall only bruise his heel. Praise the Lord. This was the first prophecy that came in the Bible. It was the first prophecy. And God said, I am going to put open hostility. When you are hostility, you are going to in the future. Like maybe your neighbor is going to be in the future. Like you are going to be in the future. That is the open hostility. This is the open hostility. This is the open hostility. The devil is not for me. Praise the Lord. And so God told Adam and Eve, I am going to put an enmity, open an enmity between your seed and the seed of the woman. Now, the funny thing about this, the devil does not know which seed. Praise the Lord. The devil does not know which seed. Why does she tell me, was our mother, Nitaeka Uhasama, Nitaeka Uadui, Katiako Nambeku. Praise the Lord. That's the reason why you have to accept your children. The devil does not know which is this seed. So in a baby that is born, the devil is just out of water. That's the reason why when Moses was born and, uh, and, and, and a pharaoh heard about it and he wanted to destroy the first child. That's the reason why the children during the reign of Aaron and during the reign of, of Moses, boys were killed until the mother for Moses hid him for three months. Praise the Lord. But the reason why, when Jesus was born, Herod was very much. The devil, devil uses a person. You will never see the Shetan in Amkia, Namaskio, Kukwa, Napembe, Ah. Shetan in Amkia, Watu. Praise the Lord. And so, what the devil does, he does not realize which seed. So, if he turns born of a woman, it is a threat to the enemy. And at the wedding, and at the bossu, and at the ziwi, man and he, praise the Lord. And now, when God wants to work with the individuals, God uses seeds. Your destiny will grow from a seed. The Bible says, do not be deceived. What you plant, you will reap. We plant seeds. 
biggest target of the devil. And we have failed to redeem the seed. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses was born, he was hid for three months. Why? The mother, Jacob, realized that this boy is not a normal boy. Have we realized that the seed we carry is not a normal child? Praise the Lord. The reason why things are happening the way they are happening is because we are not careful with the seed. And you know why we are not careful with the seed? Because we carry ignorance. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to tell somebody, ignorance, it is not defense. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ignorance, it is just because a fact does not cease to exist does not mean you ignore it. Praise the Lord. Amen. There are facts but even you yourself, when you look at them like this, even if they have not appeared to your life, that means they are not there. Just because you are not seeing HIV, does not mean HIV is not there. Just because you have never miscarriage, does not mean miscarriages are not there. Stop ignoring. Praise the Lord. The reason why we are suffering is because we have shut away from wisdom. We don't want knowledge. We don't want. I want the Yokoka Nasasa Nikoiko. That's the reason why the devil is taking advantage. The devil says in the book of Isaiah 53, after you have been taken away from the rock, take back. Praise the Lord. Some of us, to Nitebea, to Kasahano, to Kasahano. And tonight, and this wonderful afternoon, I want to talk briefly about defeating the powers that rubbish destiny. Defeating the power that rubbish destiny. Everybody, pastor has been preaching from that day. And pastor said, every child born of a woman is a star. Praise the Lord. Amen. But what came out of that star? When I read my Bible, Joseph with the 11 brothers, he saw stars. He said, I have seen 11 stars. Bow before me. But if you go to the Bible and hear Joseph introducing his brothers to Pharaoh when they went to, to live at, at, um, at Goshen, Joseph is telling Pharaoh, I am here with my brother and my father and they are shepherds. Please give them a place to live. They are shepherds. What happened to the son? Somebody turned back with the son. Praise the Lord. You are known as a star, but now you are being called a drunk man. You are known as a star. Now you are being called a womanizer. You are known as a star. Today you are being called a single mother. What happened? Praise the Lord. I want to bring and shed some light, just a little light, so that we don't get misconcept of why Christ came. I want you to know that Christ came to save mankind. And not every mankind, especially when you are not a man, you are not a man. They are the ones that God wants us to reach them and to tell them there is a saving grace. Praise the Lord. There is a star in that person. That person who is in the trench right now, that person who is sleeping on the road right now, that woman who is selling her body at Koinande, there is a star. But the question is, how was the star tampered? Praise the Lord. What made the star to be tampered? I want to look at five things that tamper stars. Five things. And that is why today we say we come with our children. So that as we declare, whatever you keep repeating, whatever you repeat, it will come to pass. You empower it. Whatever you confess, you possess. Praise the Lord. If you continue saying, my children will not be, will not be useless. My children will not be useless. I declare my children will not be to which you are repeating. You will empower. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? Number one thing that to make your star to be tampered with is your foundational background. Let me tell you 
anointing. The devil is using the ignorance of Christians. But the devil does not want us to realize where we came from. If there are Christians that are failing, are African Christians. Why? Christianity of Africa is full of demons. The Lord, the Lord God, the Lord, the Lord God, 
compassionate and gracious. He is very compassionate and gracious. Slow to anger. He is very slow to anger. And abounding in loving kindness. He is abounding in loving kindness and truth. And truth. Keeping mercy. He is keeping mercy and loving kindness for thousands. And loving kindness for thousands. Forgiving iniquity and transgression. The Lord he is quick to forgive iniquities and transgression and sin and sin, but he will by no but means. But he will not by no means leave the guilty unpunished. Praise the Lord. The Lord is saying, I am so good, I'm so compassionate. That's the reason why the devil has taken center stage to lie to Christians using that scripture. The Lord is merciful, the Lord is gracious. Mimi niko sawa nimeokoka nimeoshwa na damu after umeoshwa na damu ume visit the iniquity because it's going to be, there is a difference between sin and iniquity sin is what you do every day iniquity is in you is in your blood kenyewe nafanya kila siku kudanganya kuiba that is sin na hakuna kitu mbaya kama iniquity better sin because sin unajua unafanya Praise the Lord. The things that you are parenting and you don't know. Those are the things that are going to be visited. Say, my father, my father. But he will by no means. But he will not by no means clear the guilty. Clear the guilty. Visiting the wickedness. Visiting the wickedness and guilt of the fathers of the children. Praise the Lord. Are we suffering because of some of the things that our parents did? Do you know some of the sins that your parents did, and now you are suffering? Do you know some of the things? That your grandfather did. Praise the Lord. Some of us, we know the wickedness of our parents. I was praying for a lady here. And she told me, when the things became so hard for her in marriage, the mother called her. Enough is enough. 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 Enough Akapeleka sama indika. Kambia kuja. Tuingia kwa ikoma. And she was given something. She was told, go and apply yourself. When you are sleeping with your husband, apply yourself. From that time, the man became emotions. We know some of the things that our parents are doing. And we are still following them. We are still covering them. I want to assure you, continue covering it. Continue being a part of it. What will happen is it will eat your generation. It will go from generation to generation. It will never allow your seed to become great. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Malachi that a time is coming and the time is now that the Lord will put a demarcation between them that serve the Lord and them that do not serve the Lord. Malachi 3:18. He's coming to put a distinction between them. A time has come as Christians, no matter the suffering that you're going through, you tell the enemy, I will not worship her. I will not bow down to an evil God. I will stand until my God comes to rescue me. Come on, buy and buy. What does the Bible say? Malachi 3.18 uh -huh. Then you will again 
I told her, your problems are not anywhere. The lady said, the way you have made her to suffer in pain, you will never give up. The lady told me, guy, you need to repent. You need to be redeemed. Because you will never give up. Curses are evil spoken words. They will make sure whatever they were told to come and do, they will do. They will do. Praise the Lord. Some of us, I want to pray for another couple. I thank God. And when I want to pray for that couple, they were really trying to put money together. The land that they owe was inherited. So they were trying to keep money together. And our Jenki, so I asked them, who is this that came to your home? What did you do with them? The husband told me, Ken, my uncle came. And I said, I can't do it again. I said, my uncle came. I said, my uncle came. I said, my uncle came. Hey! They have tried to construct. They cannot. Why? A spoken word. I pray for you. Anyone that was spoken over your mother, anyone that was spoken over your father, and now the words are out in you. I command the words to be erased. I command the words to be erased. I command the words to be erased. If you're not careful, you'll fight the battles of your parents. Maybe you used to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Ukamuacha. When I was getting married, my husband had a girlfriend. And this girlfriend had to depend on her. And when I was coming, I was So she spoke. I never, I never knew the power of spoken words. I never knew the power of spoken words. And this lady said, Unafikiri umeolewa. Aja ukiza mtuwa takufa. She said that. And she's a Christian. And we are singing together. Because we were in a praise and worship. She said aja ukiza mtuwa takufa. Hey, mia mia, with my big belly, I know I'm going to give birth. I am comfortable. I go to the hospital. I give birth. After three weeks, the baby dies. Even if there was doctor's negligence, what curses do? They look for empowerment. Praise the Lord. Amen. The lady died. I didn't know how to cancel. I was like, she's a Christian. So I, there are some things. I have even trained my children. There are some things even a teacher can say in school. I have told my children, say, Kwamoyo, return to sender. I'm not teaching them to dishonor teachers. But what I'm saying, I'm to do Mujinga. Some of the curses that we carry is because a teacher spoke something. And I said that you're going to amount to nothing. Um to go and 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 go and
I am very careful with some words. Hakina huko na kichwa nasikia kukufa. You will die. You will die. Utakufa. There are some people who have imposed curses on themselves. They have said, kama kuolewa hilo wacha ikae. You already said wacha ikae. Why are you praying? Why are you bothering the kingdom of God? It was already shut. Some of us we carry self imposed curses. Mimi huku sita ka. Hiki kibana ume sita ka nacho. Mimi nitaenda. You have already cast yourself. Utaenda ukiendanga. Praise the Lord. Be very careful. You are conquering life and death. Whatever you tell your child, the child will become. One day my mother told my sister, you are very useless. Who is this time? My mother told me you are very useless. And if you are telling me, you will carry children like a dog. I want to tell her. Lakini the words of my mom today they came to pass. My sister has been cooking around to work at my Until we had to help her, we picked some. We stayed with them. What is that that your mother told you? What is that that you are told by your workmates? What is that that the girlfriend you left spoke? We need to nullify those words. Say my father, my father. Say my father, my father. Give it for me. 
Second Kings 5:20. It says what? When Gehazi, when Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, eh? the man of God, yes, said, say, my master has spared this Naaman, yes, the Amarian, eh? Syrian, eh? by not accepting him what he brought. Eh? As the Lord lives, eh? I will run after him. I will run after him and get something from him. Yes. 21. So Gehazi pursued Naaman. Uh -huh. When Naaman saw someone running after him, yes. he got down from the chariot to meet him and uh, said, And did what? Is all well. Is all well. And he said, He said, All is well. All is well. My master has sent me to say, My master has sent me to say, Just now, just now, two young men of the sons of the prophets have come to me uh -huh. from the hill of Ephraim. Yes. Please give them a talent of silver uh -huh. and two changes of clothes. Uh -huh. Naaman said, uh -huh. Please take two talents. And he asked him to accept. Uh -huh. And tied up two talents of silver in two bags mm. with two changes of clothes. Yes. And gave them to two of his servants. Uh -huh. They have seen you. Now, since my master has received these tokens, I can take them to myself. That means so why maybe your father was working for a particular. Of officer. Now, I can't officer you put your for you to get entry to see that officer who can teach a katitu. I'm a baba who can teach a katitu. Your pesa, I can't be baba who can pay away your pesa. Maybe I can make fifty thousand. Connect me. I want to go and see the DP. Connect me. I want to see a flani. So, I can't be connect you. I can pay your pesa. I can put your name. Your pesa will be put in school fees. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? The church is so quiet. Are you afraid? There is power of redemption. Amen. Amen. That money is what paid your school fees. Maybe your father was a head teacher. Now you should learn this. I'm a bad man who is a king of Missouri. Santa. My father is a kid. My father is a kid. My father is a kid. 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 Baba kwa kare toa fifty thousand. Iyo fifty thousand you will finish on iyo for what you are doing. More than twenty-five. Twenty-five. Then he went in. He went in. Stood before his master. Stood before his master. Elisha asked him. Elisha asked him. Where have you been, Gehazi? Ume kwa wapi? He said. Say. Your servant went nowhere. Apo ni siku na mahal. Elisha said to him. Yes. Did my heart not go with you? Did my heart not go with you? When the man turned from his chariot to meet you, yes. Is it a proper time to accept money and clothing uh -huh. and olive orchards and vineyards and sheep and oxen? Yes. And men and female servants. Uh -huh. Therefore, I want to show you why Naaman's sickness was not a normal sickness. Uh -huh. Therefore, therefore, the leprosy of Naaman, the leprosy of Naaman, shall cling to you, shall cling to you and your descendants forever, and your descendants forever. So Gehazi departed from his presence. Can you repeat there? The leprosy of Naaman, the leprosy of Naaman, yes, shall cling to you, shall cling to you and your descendants and your forever. Anybody who was born from the generation of Gehazi and born a leprosy. Where did it come from? The money. So the leprosy of Naaman was not a sickness. It was a generational curse. Now it was looking for somewhere to go. Where did it come from? Mtu anakuja anataka umsaidie. Naambia, "Eh, hey, this is a game to be like to go to Chota. Chota. Na ujui yo pesa alikuwa amelalia kwa madhabahu." Anasema Mungu, nikipata nafasi ya kwenda kuona mtu fulani, baba, magonjwa yangu yote naacha kwa hii pesa alafu anakuletea. Unabeba hiyo ugonjwa ukiendaka. Praise the Lord. One day God asked the, the Galatians, who cast you? People have been saying, there is no curse. There is no curse. Curses are there. Curses are real. So what is the ignorance that we have now to say? We need to work our salvation with fear and tremble and want to know more. The Bible says, go and ask the elders. Go ask them. And I will listen. Come on, remember to know that you are your family. I will give you what you are going to do with your family. Now, let me tell you what you are going to do. Go ask mom and dad. Where did they come from? Where did you come from? So that you break from the yoke. 
Praise the Lord. The Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Praise the Lord. Number three, evil dedication. That is why we have to come with our children today. Evil dedication. What the Bible says about evil dedication. Let me tell you one thing. There is a dedication, whatever you are dedicated to, you become like that which you are dedicated to. Praise the Lord. Wale about to go up and get to the Ogoka. Pastor, when you are to a Kono, Ama, when you are to Patisa, and God left you. You become like the one who dedicated you. Hey! Who dedicated you? Nani ali kutia waksu? Wewe. Wakati ulizaliwa, nani ali kutokea? Pastor was teaching that yesterday, it was powerful. Who received you? When you became to salvation, who became your father in the Lord? Because if your father in the Lord was a fetish priest, you will also carry the character of that father. Am I talking to the church here? Kuna wale about to be a hoka to Praise the Lord. Who dedicated you? Kuna wengine to get a Give this fast Samuel 128. Fast Samuel 128. He says what? 128. Uh -huh. it says, yes. uh -huh. I have also dedicated him to the Lord. I have also dedicated him to the Lord. As long as he lives. As long as he lives. He is dedicated to the Lord. He is dedicated to the Lord. And they worship the Lord. And they worship the Lord. Yeah. As long as you live, when somebody is dedicating your children, and when the children are, are being brought to the altar, what do you have to say? Who took a leo, who me fanana, some of us, when you were born, you were born. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you were born, you were born. 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 You were we don't baptize children. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 28, when they believe and they confess, they shall be baptized. Children are dedicated. Jesus was dedicated to the temple through Simeon. And Simeon prophesied. When you bring children on the altar, the children should be prophesied upon. Whatever the servant of God says concerning children is what will have to pass. Praise the Lord. That is what will come to pass. That is the why someone was taken back to the temple. He was dedicated to God. He became a prophet. That is the why we are bringing up awkward children. Mtoto wako anakuwa mkubwa, anakuwa mwizi, amelala kanisani wakati wa kujiwa wakfu. Nani alinena unabidi ya maisha yake? Praise the Lord. Read for me. Second Timothy 4, 2 to 4. Second Timothy 2, 4, 2 to 4. Preach the word. Preach the word. As an official messenger. Yes. Be ready when the time is right. Be ready when the times are right. And even when it's not. Yes. Keep your sense of urgency. Yes. Whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable. Uh -huh. Whether convenient or inconvenient. Yes. Whether welcome or unwelcome. Yes. Correct. Correct. Those who are doctrine or behavior. Yes. Warn those who sin. Yes. Exhort, exhort those. Exhort and encourage uh -huh. those who are growing towards spiritual maturity. Uh -huh. With inexhaustible patience and faithful teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine uh -huh. and accurate instruction. Yes. That challenges them with God's truth. But challenges them with God's truth. Why? But wanting to have. They will only want to hear or to have. Uh -huh. Their ears tickled. They just want to hear what their ears want to hear. Something pleasing. Who are you dedicated to? That's the reason 
why today we don't have sound doctrine. Today we are not speaking the truth in the church. Today we are not telling people what you are doing is right and is wrong. Today we are not telling people come back to God. Today we are concerned with blessings, blessings after another. Why? Our ears are itching to hear what they want to hear. Today, if you tell people to stop fornicating, they run away from the church. Today, if you tell people whatever they are doing, see the iris, they are going to have a Today, people don't want to know the truth. They want to go to church. I was talking to another girl. And, 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 and I asked her, who is that? A, a guy was entering the house. I said, that's my boyfriend. I mean, ah, that's your boyfriend. Right now, at this hour of the night, will he go home? I said, no. And I began to have a spend weekend. I love Kesha to Nayenda. See, to Nashiriki, to Nayimba, praise and worship. Huh? I looked at her like this. I almost swallowed her. I told her, you are comfortable? Yeah. See, to Tawanda, Kuna. And they are confident. And they are singing. So to them, sin is not an issue. They are okay. They are comfortable as long as them, the man of God, the, the woman in the, in the purple royal garment is okay. Where are we going? Who, where have you been dedicated? Are you dedicated to God? Are you ready to say no when it is no? Are you ready to say yes when it is yes? Why? If you don't do that, you are sick or die. Praise the Lord. Today people are fearing to preach the truth. At Washirika Watakopa Kanisani. Waende, nibaki peke yangu. I will still preach. If I see, the Bible says, review when there is time to review. And also, more. Don't review can down. Review can lift. Praise the Lord. Today we are in churches that are breaking people. Who are you dedicated to? Don't try to die for the church. Jesus already died for the church. Your blood cannot even be enough for a mosquito. Praise the Lord. Stop dying for the church. Pastors are taking the church as, as if it's their house. This is not my house. It has the owner. When people realize this, the owner of the altar, they will not fear me as Pastor Mimi said. They will fear the God of the altar. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? It is a harsh message. But as my in here, our sin must be exempted. I will not sit down and watch things going wrong. I heard another lady was telling me, Mom, I don't know what to do. I asked her, why? And I don't know what. My husband was given to my sister. Come here. You are who? My husband was given to my sister by my mother. Hey! You are mother. Beat your husband like this and give him to your sister. Parents are becoming wicked. And they are church goers. They are forever in church. Praise the Lord. Who are you dedicated to? Are you concerned with the things of God? Whoever you are dedicated to, you become like them. We have dedicated our time, Sunday morning, the time for sleeping. Your seed will never grow. If you wake up in the morning to go to win this work, what time do you leave work? What time do you leave when you are going to work? Five. Am I talking to somebody? I want to show you what is making your seed to die. You wake up at five. By six, you are by seven, um, clock. Kama kuna hile kwa ya clock. Kukuro. Praise the Lord. By seven thirty, you are seated. Please see a mere windy. Who is worshipping a cow? But when it comes to coming to church, Sunday is fiyaku la 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 ko. Wacha ni la la ko kidogo. Ata, ata, ata bumba na elewa kunyanyesha. Your seed will never grow. If you prepare your children to go to school, the same children you are saying, Mutoto ali nisubua subuhi. When I nisubua ki mande, I nisubua Sunday. Say, my father, my God. my God. I dedicate myself to you. Let my seed be exempted. Let my seed be exempted. Who are you dedicated to? Where did you dedicate your children first? 
mtoto wa nazari yangu kitu ya kwanza kufanya ni kupanda gari ukielekea Kakamega. Wacha nipelekeshe sio mtoto akamuone. Hata Mungu mwenyewe haujamletea. And then you come here and tell me that mtoto wako ametajwa hapo na vidonda kwa mdomo. Where are you going? Where? I want to talk to pregnant women. And those ones who are anticipating to get married. In this commission, you bring the baby on the altar on the eighth day after delivery. Say amen. 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 Say amen. amen. You bring the baby on the altar on the eighth day. I don't care whether it was Cecilia. I don't care whether it was Wanja. I don't care whether you, you, it was Virginia. Whatever you gave birth through, you bring the baby here. I dedicate the baby, then go back and stay in the house. You stay with the baby for three months. At the same Kanisa, after three months, the demon that wanted to eat your baby raw has already eaten the baby. Jesus was taken to the temple when he was only eight days old. Go read your Bible. The reason why our children are suffering is because we have never shown them the altar. Where are you going to be? The only one who is going In this commission, I don't even support baby showers. Stay with them. Don't shower our, our baby. Don't try. Don't shower. I will shower her or him with prayers. Munakuja munashika shika tuko ya mtu na tujui kenye unasema. Ata unamulani. This is a lady. This is a lady, a daughter of this commission. And uh, she, she, she got pregnant. And the pregnancy was very tough. And so, in the process, wakakosana, wakakosana, wakakosana buwanake. And she knew what is happening. She called me. She used to come here. Akiwa na mimba, she used to walk. Some of the daughters of this commission wana mjua. She used to walk. Anakuja, akiwa na mimba. We used to pray. We used to pray. Ananyabia, mama, I don't understand. Then, wakati alikaribia kabakisha skumbiri, wena kujifungua, they prepare a baby shower. Kumbe, the lady wanya nataka kuhost baby shower kwa nyumba yake, is the one who is having an affair with the husband. So what was the baby shower for? They wanted to come and declare war on the baby so that the baby can die. She got a dream that night. She got a dream. And the dream, alikuwa nazalishwa na mfanyikazi wa kinyata. See that? Mfanyikazi wa kinyata. Yalikuwa na mzalisha. Hamia mama, I got a very funny dream. Uta mwambia, what was the dream about? Haka niyabia, niliota, atinasa mekaa kango na nazalishwa na mkua kufagia. Hey! Nikambia, haa? Her baby is in danger. Let us pray. We pray, we pray. Then she told me, Ma, I'm suspecting something funny. You can what is the something funny that you're talking about. I can my husband, when I'm going to go to who is my best friend, that's crazy, I'm in your void. At one thing, and baby shower. The husband. The husband. Now, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to She's a witch. You know, let me tell you one thing. When the lady we prayed, when she went to give birth, the first person who appeared in the labor world was the lady. Not even the husband. She's the one who is appearing. Now, yes, this is the husband. The baby came. The baby could not breathe. She called me. She told me, Nika Munisa, who is in labor with you? I can hear that lady I spoke about. Nika Munisa, speak fire. Say fire. Can I remember I can't pray. I'm fainting. Nika Munisa, say fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. The lady left. After the lady left, I went to Kenyatta. I entered the hospital with anointing oil. The baby was already in incubator. I prayed for the baby. The baby came back to life. I had to go and dedicate the child in two days in the house. As we are speaking right now, the husband left and the husband is with the lady. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? There are things that you should not underrate. There are things that you should not look at when things are not working. Praise the Lord. There are some friends that you have that you need to say no to those friends. Praise the Lord. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Evil dedication. Who received you? Who is willing to receive you? Who is willing to receive your child? I pray for you. Anyway that you took your baby, show. Anyway who held your baby. And now God Almighty, things are not working for our children. I cancel the dedication. I cancel the dedication. I cancel the dedication in Jesus' name. Amen. Mtu ashika mtoto hivi anasema utaona. Tutaona kwenye utaenda. Praise the Lord. We need some light there. Number four. Naming. 
The names that we give our children. I've said we need some light ashes. The name that we give our children. The name you carry. That name carries power. What is that name that you carry? Read for me. First Samuel 25, 25. First Samuel 25, 25. It says what? Please do not let my Lord. Please do not let my Lord. Pay attention to this worthless man. Pay attention to this worthless man. Why? Nabal for as his name. Nabal as by his name. So is he. So is he. Nabal. Nabal. Fool. Fool is his name. Is his name. And foolishness. And foolishness. Stupidity. Stupidity is with him. Is with him. But I, your maid servant, uh -huh. did not see my Lord's young men whom you sent. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. If greatness must come from your seed, be very careful. That's the reason why in the traditional African society, people are very careful. I am a social teacher and I'm a CRE teacher. I normally teach that names who are given to appease the dead. Did you learn that? Yes. Did you learn that? But the names we carry, we were being given the names to appease the dead. Now you have been called Juguna. And Juguna was an humanizer. So anytime the name Juguna is mentioned, the humanizer is the one that responds. Not you. Names are powerful. Names are spirits. That is why when Jesus was being born, Mary and Joseph did not come with the name. The name was prophesied. Praise the Lord. Amen. Prophet Micah said, His name shall be called Messiah, the Savior of the world. Prophet Isaiah prophesied and said, His name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. You, the name you carry, was it under prophecy or was it because your mother wanted to please the mother in law? Huh? Which name do you carry? Today, in the Christian world that we are, be very careful with the name that you give your baby. Jezebel, I mean, uh, uh, Jabez, was given a name because of the condition that the mother was passing. He said, my mother bore me in sorrow, but God, I pray, enlarge my territories. Some of us, the names that we carry, Tunaito Giza, Muiro, Muiro, nothing will be right in your life. When I gave birth to my baby, I asked the Lord, what do I call her? What is, give me a prophetic name. And, I, and, and the Holy Spirit, that night, I did have a name for a girl. And that night, the Holy Spirit ministered to me and told me, she shall be a mother of nations. I was like, guy, me need to know Sarah. Hey, but you could have a generation, modern generation. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I asked God, Sarah, uh -uh, Call her the feminine name of Abraham. I was like, do we have a feminine name for Abraham? I went, I checked for it. The name is Abriel. Is the feminine name for Abraham. The mother, Abraham was the father of nations. So Sarah became the praise the Lord. And she was called Abriel Pendo. If you look at the meaning of the name Abriel, Abriel means love. So my baby is called love, love. You cannot afford to hate her. Amen. You cannot. She's lovable. She's just lovable. Where am I? to work on you. Doofy, doofy. Yeah, you know, Tina and Tinto. It is Carrie's powers. Kula my Tina is my paper. My paper. And did I tell you I admitted a child? Nikapo wa Tina. Ya kusha nikambua nyangao. Ha! Are you abusing me? I don't know that is the name of our father. Guy. I looked, Nyangao. And I'm telling you that boy was climbing anywhere. Like Nyangao. I'm going to look at Tukia man. Now, Kibwangaria Kasura. Hi. It's not glorious. Praise the Lord. Which name did you? There are some names. If you give a particular family, Angalia, Jamie Flan is going to Jina Flan. Ukiangalia Hio Jina, do you have one another baby? Praise the Lord. I was praying for a brother here. I'll not tell you who it was. And when I was praying for him, 
Nikafitwa jine ya katikati. Nikafitwa. Then I, I mentioned the name. The Holy Spirit told me, we don't know him by that name. We know him by this name. Which is your name? What is that name that you have given your children? Do you see some character of that, that, that person that name carries? Do you see some character in your child? Unasikia na mtu anasema, "Kai, hapo anafanana mwenye tu ameitwa." Ah! If genes can be adopted, even character can be adopted. Kama unatofanya na babu kama ya baba yako, hata tabia za babako zitakuwa ndani yako. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that Abraham lied. Isaac lied. Jacob became the father of liars. So your baby ata pro, ata atafanya ata ata exaggerate. Hiyo character that iko kwenu, hiyo jina kama mwalimu alikuwa mlewa alikuwa anakuja kidogo kusaa. Sasa yeye huyu mwenye aliitwa ni kuka yako na yeye akaitwa akakuja hakupata hiyo pesa ya kununua taska. Aka, sasa wako atakunywa kiredi tano. Because the issue is exaggerated at the generation goes. Kama hiyo jina ya msichana, kama kwenu mwenye ameitwa hiyo jina anazalianga nyumbani, akazaa kamoja. Sasa mwenye alito akazaa tuwini. Wako atazaa kumi. There are some things hata ukinichapa sita hita mtoto. Hata ukinichapa. One day my mother in law told me. Kwa nina hita watoto majina ziko hivi. Sisi tuko wapi nikambia we. Unu wangu wea kuna mahali na kujia. Misi kwa nikuzae. Na kujazaria wa juku. Lakini siwe ninaza. Praise the Lord. We unaza wa juku. Siye unaza. Ukinyengana na kumza. You will get frustrated. Some of us, the battles we are fighting is because of the name in that character. Say, my father, my God. Say, my, my father, my God. My father, my God. The name I carry. I am a trumpet battles in my life. I nullify. I nullify. I nullify. I nullify. I nullify. There are some people when God sent them to this commission. Kuna mtu wapa ninaangali yanga hivi. Ninaambua change her that name. Precious was your name precious. Delight was your name delight. Debra was your name Debra. Praise him. There are some things. There are some names that you can carry. You are seed of greatness. Whatever be shame. Praise the Lord. There are some people, the children they give birth to, the names they carry, they are supposed to be very great. Lakini hilo china ikitato, kwa sa, ah, mtoto wa flani, siyezi mwajini kwa hu. Na pengine, ya ni wa flani, ya kisi flani. Have you ever had such things? Praise the Lord. Even in our country politics, there are some names, if they are mentioned, hata kama ulikuwa taa kupeana kazi, na sema, ay, haa, hiyo china, hacha ikai. I pray for you. Your children shall be exempted in Jesus' name. Your children shall be exempted in Jesus' name. Yeah. Number five, evil altars. Evil altars. Mother Bang and Bayosia Kiyumu. Now I want to admonish this. Before you enter a church, I'm not saying this is the best church. If you are looking for a perfect church, die and go to heaven. Because there is no perfect church. Praise the Lord. Amen. But before you enter a church, enter. If there is anything that can tie your destiny, is the altar you worship. Kuna madapahu wambayu na ezaabudu, ikufunge milele. Praise the Lord. You don't see the greatness of who you are supposed to be. There are some altars that our parents raised. And those altars are fighting us in the here, in the city. One day, there's a servant of God I love. I love him. He's my mentor. I love him so much. And a lady left that commission. That lady, a lady I know, she left that commission. She came to another commission. I asked her, what have made you leave that commission? I think I'm having just my own issues. There are some altars. Because I know the God of that altar. It is means that the altar that you are dedicated to is refusing 
to change to the new out. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is reason why, if you are a, you used to be a devil worshiper, I have had some encounter with them. They don't push you to go to a church. Anytime you want to be confronted, they push you to die. Any the worshiper, have young women badirisha kanisa, akiamua kubadirika, anabadirika anga anakusha. Kwa sababu gani? Madhabahu ambayo ametoka inakataza madhabahu ya ukweli. Praise the Lord. If you are in another that Jesus is being preached and you hear your spirit is telling you, "I Mr. Kid, mimi nikiona wapo pastor siwi nasikianga aje. Hai mimi wakianza praise. Hai mimi wakati nataka kwenda kama wameomba. Hai there is an altar that is fighting you. Praise the Lord. And the greatness will not be revealed. Read for me judges. Judges 6, 11 to 12. Now, now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree of at Orpa. Yes. Which belonged to George the Abyssal. Uh -huh. And his son Gideon was beating wheat in the wine press. Yes. Instead of threshing flour. Yes. To hide it and save it from the Midian. Yes. And the angel of the Lord appeared. The angel of the Lord appeared. And said to him. And said to him. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. O brave man. O mighty man of valor. O, o brave man. Why were the Midianites terrorizing the Israelites? If God had selected a mighty man. Why? Why are they not terrorizing you? When God has already raised a great woman of God in your family. Why? An altar. Praise the Lord. An altar will fight you. An altar will make sure your greatness will not be known. Read for me the same Judges 6 25. I want to show you. Now, now on that same night, on that same night, the Lord said to Gideon, the Lord said to Gideon, take your father's bull, take your father's bull. The second bull, the second bull, seven years old, seven years old, and tear down the altar, and tear down the altar of God that belongs to your father. That belongs to your father. For Gideon to become great, for Gideon seem to be seen, for the mighty man of valor that the angel spoke about to be revealed, there are some things that Gideon needed to do, and these things was to destroy the evil altar. That was speaking behind his life. <laughs> Some of us, we know what our parents worship. Some of us, we know where we come from. We are Africans now. I'm not preaching in America. We are Africans. We know. We know what our parents are doing. And you come here in Nairobi. You become a praise and worshiper. Do you think the altar of your parents will enable you to go far? You need to denounce it. You need to separate yourself from it. You need to say, I want to know the true God. Gideon told the angel, where were you when you were suffering like this? If you are the God who I used to hear, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, where were you? And I know some of you, you have been asking that question. Praise the Lord. A time has come that the children we are raising, they will say, I want to see the God of my father. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want Kelsey. One day, when she is between crossroads, as a mother assembly, the God of Pastor Mary set up. I want you to appear. Why? I have raised a godly altar. Praise the Lord. Amen. Which altar is speaking in your life? Which altar is saying you're going to be? He had to destroy the altar. And number four, as I finish, I want us to pray. Illicit sex. Illicit sex will destroy your sin. And that is why I say all children should be here, small and big. Let us stop teaching children that when they engage in sex, they will be pregnant. There is more than pregnancy. Because a baby will be born and a baby will grow. But there are consequences of that baby. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy 23, 2. Never be comfortable. If your marriage is not working, okay, press. Press until it works. Because there are consequences of the children that you bring. What does the Bible say? A person of 
and person of illegitimate birth shall not enter, shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. The assembly of the Lord. He, none of his descendants, even to the tenth generation. None of his descendants, even to the tenth generation. We are not here to condemn single mothers. We are not here to say you are not worthy. It happened, whatever it happened. That is reason why we are calling the God of redemption. That what you went through, your baby will not go through. Praise the Lord. Yes, you have given birth to the baby. We cannot throw the baby. But there is power of repeated mistakes. Ushinsikia familia ni nasema ati mama alizalia nyumbani. Kasi anakake kamezalia nyumbani. Kuna possibility yako katoto kenye kamezaliwa bado. I know of a family. Here in Kangemi. Wamezalia nyumbani. Watoto wao wote wamezalia nyumbani. Until the mother made it away. Akasema I have to go through the rivers. My children will get married. As we are speaking now, mmoja mebaki na nafanya arusi next year. She's a single mother. But she realized, let me tell you one thing, the devil is happy with the ignorance. He's happy. He's very happy. If you don't realize it, then you start fighting. My God, my father. Yes, I have given birth at home. I know I did one this year, but I decree and I declare, my daughter will not borrow, get, get a baby in the house. It will happen. You can refuse. Why? You got the knowledge. That lady, I know her. Another one thing we celebrated last year. Hey! It was glorious. And not only to see to doctor, Kwako Asia teenagers, those girls, and she got married in a pure wedding ceremony. Walking down the aisle. Why? The devil is taking advantage of the ignorance. You are comfortable. The chances are the baby girl that you have given birth at home will also give birth at home. But when you know it, and you start distancing the baby from the mistakes that you did, that baby will not go through the same. Am I talking to somebody? There is power of redemption. What the devil is doing, the devil is making us to see as if it is impossible. Have you ever heard something like that? You cannot go beyond here. You are spoiled beyond repair. Let me tell you one thing. God is not a God of second chance. He is a God of many, many, many chances. Praise the Lord. Amen. So don't allow the devil to speak to your situation. Speak to your situation about your God. Praise the Lord. Illicit sex is a demon. And I want to talk to everybody here. If you are married, stick to the wife of your youth. The Bible says that a man who walks with the heart is reduced to a crisis, a piece of bread. The crumbs of bread. Proverbs 5. No, give me Proverbs 6. 26. You are reduced to a cluster of bread. For on account, for an account of a prostitute, of a prostitute, one is reduced to a piece of bread. One is reduced to a piece of bread to be eaten up, to be eaten up. And the immoral woman, and the immoral woman, hands with a hook. He hands with, and akushikanga ifi. The precious life of a man. The precious life of a man. <laughs> you are thinking sex is only for five minutes. I am telling you, is a destiny destroy. You look at sex like this, you run away. You will wait, you will close Jerusalem. One of them, Shrika Hapa, sent me a WhatsApp. Gabi, Mama, I'm a bit concerned. If I tell my daughter to close Jerusalem, what will I tell my son? Zip up Jerusalem. Zip it! Praise the Lord. Wait! One day I ask God, why were you so much concerned with fornication? Why? And they all told me, that is where I have hung the life of my children. Some of us, our seeds are not becoming great. We have deposited our sperms everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Let me show you the consequences of wasting sperms. At me, I slept with her and I used a condom. I will not be pregnant. You wasted sperms. There are consequences of wasting sperms in the Bible. Not me. This church will be joining holy matrimonies. Hey, don't say. Me, I say amen. amen. This church, 
Tutashikanisha wasichana ambao hawajajua vijana. We shall be keeping them holy. I have somebody say there is no virginity today. Who say it? The children of this commission are virgins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if it happens once, I'll pray it will be restored. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Did I say here? There's a lady we were praying for. She was raped by 38 men. She was raped. And that lady cried. She came and said, I cannot take this anymore. I want to commit. I don't know how you cannot die. There is a God of restoration. I pray for that girl. I'm not seeing as in Gaobwe. I pray for that girl. When she got married, she got married by a Botswana. Right now she has twins. When she got married, when they went to sleep the first night, the man broke her virginity. Where did it come from? The Lord restored it. Praise the Lord. To sit down a shetani. Women, we are looking at our children. We are telling them, time is running off. Please, let them to cool it. Hey! You bring a bastard. Where? If your mother tells you like that, open that scripture. Mabia, mama, I'm not going to bring a bastard. The Lord is going to bring a man for me. And even if he does, even if he doesn't come, the Lord will know how I'll get married. Was that to our protest our total? We are raising an ungodly generation. And we are seeing what we are doing. That's the reason why we are telling what we are doing. We are doing what we are doing. Because we are doing what we are doing. 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 It is not going to be our portion in Jesus' name. It is not going to be our portion in Jesus' name. Where are you reading? Proverbs 6. No, consequences of Western Genesis 38. I want you to hear it. But maybe, but I have a boyfriend, I have a girlfriend, do not me under condom. Hey, let me show you the dangers. You wait. And this is a church. We don't hide. But it's not a total. Are you saying, eh? 
but leave the sex to teaching of parents. Who is that parent who tell you that? Who? You as you are growing up, your mama told you anything. I don't get a kumuriza and get kubonga kofi. Saka hiyo ni manendo kani na kuja kumuriza hapa. Auna adapu. But today, let us receive it from the altar. Because you are making a vow. It is not enough for you to preserve yourself because a baby is going to come. It is enough for you to preserve yourself because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That's the reason why the Lord say, all the masturbators, all the adulterers, all the, all the fornicators, they will never enter heaven. How have you created your seed? Why are you destroying your seed? Today people are very comfortable with Mpango Wakando. Because somebody is married, but he is not Mpango Wakando, he is not a pale. You are creating them. It is a coffin. You are making it yourself. I want when you go home, go and read Proverbs 5, 1 to 23. Utaogopa, Zambia Ngono. Utaogopa. You know it a call call. The Bible says, whoever engages with the harlot is entering to hell. He is fellowshipping with the dead. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are fellowshipping with the dead. If you ever, I'm not saying girlfriends are not good. Have them, but read the word of God. Encourage one another so that you become. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to assure somebody there is power of redemption. Amen. Amen. I know some of us, we are not pure. And that's the reason why God wanted to exempt our sin. That's the reason why God wanted to deal with us. Some of us who are cheated into by, by, by people, they are going to marry us. Then we give birth to children. This never worked. It doesn't mean it's the end of the road. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is always a God who is ready to do a new thing. But there's a scripture I want us to read here. First Corinthians 7 14. I pity people who are not born again. I pity, and I'm speaking this online. I pity people who are not born again. Read out that scripture. First Corinthians. It says what? For the unbelieving husband. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified. Is sanctified. That is. That is. He receives the blessings granted. He receives the blessing granted through the wife. Through, the, through his Christian wife. Through his Christian wife. And the unbelieving wife. And unbelieving wife is sanctified through. He is sanctified through her believing husband. Through her believing husband. Otherwise, Otherwise, your children will be ceremonially. Your children will be ceremonially and clean, and clean, but as it is, they are holy. So sit down. I want to talk to people here. This is a seminar. It's a conference. So what happens to the children of unbelieving couple? They don't worship. They don't, don't go to church. They don't know where they stand. What happens to those children? They are unholy. So if you're here, you are married, and you don't even go to church, you are not a Christian, you better. Because your Christianity will save your children. Your Christianity will save your husband. If you're here, you are a man. The boys who are here, who have not gotten married, desire to stay in the Lord. Why? You are a wife will be sanctified by your commitment to the things of God. So what happens to your children? Even if your children will go astray, they are holy children. That's the reason why. Now, now, what is the issue of Rusi? When the issue of Medans, when Medans, when they have millions and millions of money, and they are not, they don't have anybody to sanctify them. The husband is drunkard. The wife is drunkard. Which sin have you produced? Praise the Lord. There is hope. There is hope for that child. There is hope for your son. Why? You who is born.